How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review a set mobile security and antivirus. This uh, app has 10 million downloads. It's got 4.7, one of the highest ratings I've seen for these type of apps. So I got a feeling this uh, review is going to be pretty, pretty good. Let's look at what people are saying about it. The reviews, best antivirus, effective, useful, good security, great protection, simple interface. Looks like people like it. Let's go ahead and install it and check it out. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Cool, so we got the picture of the famous uh, robot that a set uses. So let's go ahead and hit accept here and continue. User consent to provide the highest level of security and functionality. Some information may be shared. Like the device location, if lost or stolen. That's if anti theft is activated, websites visited, only if anti phishing is activated. Some virus detection data and application names may be sent to a set. We're going to hit accept. Uh, Live Grid uses the latest intelligence collected from millions of a set customers. Ah, we're just going to opt out of that because we're doing a review right now. Enable detection of potentially unwanted applications. We're just going to hit enable for now. We want to test out every single feature on here. Uh, we're going to allow it access. I'm going to say allow. And allow. Alright, let's go ahead and activate here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and hit finish. And here it is. Looks pretty simple to use. Uh, we got antivirus here. We got anti theft, anti phishing, SMS and call filter, security audit, and the security report. Now we do see there is a yellow um, warning sign here. Let's go ahead and hit it and see what it tells us. It's making us uh, well allow anti phishing to access device permissions. We're going to hit allow. Of course, it's going to take us to the permission thing. We've done this so many times. So tap on Asset Mobile Security Category Service and enable this functionality. So let's look for that. Here it is. We're going to hit that and slide it over to the on position. Hit OK. And there we go. That's done. So anti phishing now is done. Let's go back. Now it's going to say you're protected. So you got to use that step there. Something's happening on the antivirus. Let's if you see the spinning here, something's going on. Let's check, let's take a look at it. Looks like it's scanning. Now I have been reviewing a bunch of antivirus Android apps. So it did find a couple viruses on the last ones that we did. We did a vast and a couple of other ones. So I don't think it's gonna find nothing. We'll let that run in the background. Let's go ahead and test out everything else. Let's go to the anti-theft and see how that works. There's a web portal option here and it looks like it's turned off. We gotta create an account to use these features here, guys. So the anti-theft works through the web portal and through the MSX text commands. I'm gonna go ahead and create an account here. Alright guys, so I created an account. Alright, I will show you guys I would show you guys the web portal, but that uh, discloses my email address, my personal one, and that's why I'm not going to hit that. Let's go ahead and take test the M SMS test commands here. We're going to turn that on. Okay, continue. I'm going to hit allow. To perform command text, the following code from any phone, replace the password with your SMS password. We're going to hit next. So this is for text messaging. So if you need a t uh, password to use in commands. So this is a password if you're going to be te text messaging so people can't text message through your phone. So that's pretty cool. I will not uh, put a password here. We just wanted to see what this did. Let's go ahead and go back and look at the other features. If we go under settings, you can always change the security password here and change the contact details. So that's pretty cool. I like that anti-theft. All right. And of course, there was a lot more stuff we could have gone into in the anti-theft, but it just shows so much of my personal stuff on my phone that 
that's why I can't show you guys. Let's go ahead and go to anti phishing. That's already on, so if anybody tries to fish, which is pretty funny, what that means is people can make you try to log in, like say to your bank account, and it's a fake web page you're looking at, and when you put your password in there, they'll take your password. So this protects you from that. SMS and call filter. You control who can reach you and when you can. So you can block incoming calls and messages from unknown hidden numbers. Now I, I won't get into this either because it will get into my private numbers and stuff like that when I start going through the settings with you guys. But you guys can know that it will block incoming calls and messages from unknown or hidden numbers, block him in calling students for specific contacts. So let's say uh, you break, break up with your boyfriend, you break up with your girlfriend and you don't want them to contact you or whatever it is, you uh, can block them here, specific contacts specific, and even specific times. And you can filter outgoing calls also. <laughs> so that, so you have that option there. So security audit, let's see what that is. Review and adjust important device settings. Review permissions and install application. Let's turn that on and see what it does. Let's see. So debugging mode is on. That's why this is yellow like that. So that's just for monitoring application audit security report I'm pretty sure is going to tell you everything if everything's green so everything's green here except the SMS call filter which we couldn't get into and of course if you want more features you can buy the premium for a 50% discount right now for $695 and I think that the virus scan is still going look at that thing it's still going looks like it's barely gonna finish no threats found and I don't think it's gonna find any threats now I don't see anything here there it is sweet so the, vi the virus scan is done and um, alright so when the virus scan is done and you hit this here it is you can scan device by uh, hitting the blue button here the scan there's scan levels in depth and smart I recommend you use in depth make sure you scan every single spot of your phone so we're gonna go back Automatic scans, you can enable that on charger scan or scheduled scan if you want to schedule it for a certain time. For example, on Monday, Tuesday, you can change the time on here also. That's really cool. That's automatic. I like that. On a free antivirus, that's really cool. I don't see that on all of them. This is what I really look for look for in an antivirus program is the update virus signature database button. There's a lot of them out there that will not let you update unless you get the premium version, unless you buy it. You know, it's like, really? Don't do that to me. So right here, you can update it. There's also advanced settings here. It's set live grid. Let's turn that on. Detect potentially unsafe applications. We could turn that on. Enable. Cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all there is with this. I'm sorry if I couldn't get into some of the uh, anti-theft and SMS call filtering. It's just that... A lot of my personal stuff gets, um, this is a phone after all, and I don't want any of my uh, friends' numbers out there on the internet. I hope you guys understand. Go ahead and download it yourself so you can see how that works. It's really cool. I got to give a set mobile security a really good review. I'm going to go ahead and probably give it a 4.5 out of 5. It does really good. Just like in the reviews, the reviews on... Uh, the Play Store is 4.7 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my other review videos.